All right, welcome back, Aussie Dad Life. Another unboxing. We've got our um, Nagambi fishing comp on in a couple of weeks. Anyway, so we're camping on site. So I've had to sort of lash out by a whole bunch of camping equipment. So I thought I'd uh, share my thoughts and stuff on the bits and pieces in case it might be useful for everybody else. Now, I've um, got two boys, four and six. Uh, we didn't want just regular blow bear beds. We want something that we could keep them off the ground. And also because of the tent that we've got is um, uh, two room, to have a bit of room in there, we decided we'd go with bunks um, instead of just single inflatables. So yeah, this is all we bought. Got these from everything from Tent World, and I've got here. So this is the uh, the bunks, and this is a, a folding table with storage for like you know cooking, pantry, and so on. So I've got to undo both of them to see what they look like. See if it's actually going to be any good. Now on sale, the double bunks were 130 bucks, I think. So I'm not sure what they are at the moment, but that's what, that was the price that I paid, and the table was 100 bucks. Now, oh, it comes in a nice, fairly heavy-duty carry bag. What is it? Yeah, what does it look like it is? Can I see what the top of the lip is like? Yeah. I'm making a video. Can you help out of the way? Shush! Whatever. Shush. Alright, so there's two separate components into the bag. Um, obviously probably one bunk per side, so you know what to, to do, which is good. Alright, so everything's unboxed here on the table. Haven't seen any instructions, but it looks pretty straightforward. Um, as you can see here, these have got the hard plastic bottoms. So obviously these, these are the base. Like I said, they can stack up and they can actually be used separately. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep going and see how it goes. So it's just a matter of, uh, these have got Velcro tabs here. I've just literally plugged in these into the sides. Pretty straightforward, they sit in. That goes over the bars. Pull that up until the Velcro touches. Do the same on the other end. Now this end has adjustable tabs. For the sake of the video, I won't worry about doing that up and making that nice and tight. The material's quite thick. Um, sort of, I guess, the same material that you get on the regular single stretches. Then it's just a matter of uh, building up each end. Alright, so that's the bulk of it. Then it's just a matter of getting these other ones out. Do exactly the same. Good thing is these poles are actually all self-contained. There's a, uh, an elastic cable that runs through the middle of them all, so you're not going to lose them. And that's it, it's done. Look at that, same deal. Pull the rope up, it's got the adjustable 
We've got the adjustable end bits here that you can see. And depending on if this is the top bunk, you've got the rails, these poke into the top. Work out where the holes are. And that'll stop anybody from falling out of the, uh, the top bunks. It's actually quite sturdy, like, there is very little end to end play and sideways so um, like I said mine are four and six put them on there it should not move obviously you've got a couple little side beds there pockets that you can put stuff in and also comes with these underbody bed things so you can clip them on just for example Done. And there's a couple more of those, but I won't worry too much about putting those on. And that's it. So that's actually really, really sturdy. I'm quite surprised at that. So that looks like it's going to be a good bit of gear um, in the tent. Yep. So like I said, you got four of these. Obviously they go clip clip. And uh, yeah, stop you from sinking too far. And then if you didn't want to have them in there, they just sit on these, this one will pop out. two single beds side by side as you can see here I've just taken the poles out um, and she's ready to go so that's what they look like single on the single and uh, there you go so 130 bucks I think they're gonna be a really good bit of gear pretty quick and easy to put together one thing that popped into my head is will everything fit back in the bag uh, versus like a tent or whatever which seem to have a lot of trouble so let's quickly rip it apart and we'll see and lucky last time And that is everything in the bag, all done. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Easy. All right, let's uh, have a look at the table. All right, so this is just a regular folding out table with some soft storage underneath. Um, one of the reasons I got this particular model is because I'm taking away my Weber Q, which is a Q2000 series style. And a lot of the camp kitchens that you buy they're not actually wide enough for it to sit on. I couldn't be bothered buying a camp kitchen and then another, you know, a rotary molded table. Just wanted something that could do everything and, and have a little bit of working space on it. So, yeah, this is what it ended up with. Another good thing is this is sort of a darker color. I think it might hide a few stains a bit better than the, the white slash gray ones that you buy. Start after a few years, start to look pretty manky. All right, so keep it shut. There is a little tag, a couple little tags. That's nice. And then everything's in there. So 
pull that out. It looks like some extendable legs. Just a matter of click, 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 click. Now you can see there's another, once again, some little locking tabs. Just push that across. That way it's not going to fold up. So the plan is to have my Weber on this side with just a little bit of space, you know, putting on the meat and whatnot. Now, uh, you've got the zippers on both sides, hopefully. Yep, so you've got the, the soft zipper so I can just throw things in there. Now, it comes with these as well, which you can just throw in there. So it gives it a little bit more of a hard floor. Done, so you can put in, you know, all your nibbles and stuff like that. Now there is pockets at the end here. There's three pockets on this side, and what do we got on this side? Another three pockets. So pockets on both sides. Now comes with extendable legs. So if you wanted to work off that height, um, you can, if needed. Otherwise, you've got two more lots of extendable legs. So once again, if you're working off different height ground. If you need to go higher or higher again, and it's got the little adjustable um, hard base there. So I won't screw those in. Everybody knows what adjustable legs look like. And it's got a nice grippy handle to carry it, lug it around if you need to, but it's fairly light. There you go. Plenty of room. That's exactly what I was looking for. And there, the Weber will just sit on top nicely. Now there is a little rod here to clip up and in. Let's go have a look at where that sits. Oh yeah. So you can have it hook that up depending on how much weight that you want to stop it from sagging. So there is a little metal rod in there. Awesome. All right, so that is the bunk beds and the camp kitchen table review. Uh, I'll let you know how it actually goes when we go away in a couple of weeks, but uh, yeah, overall good bit of gear. Catch you on the next video.